Hi, I'm Rachel, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to add shadow to any of your colorings using the Color Therapy app. This technique is fairly easy and can be used to add depth to words, animals, flowers, or more. It's a great way to make your focal point pop out and have a 3D effect. While you can use your finger to add shadows, I recommend using an Apple Pencil for best results because it's more precise. To find the image, go under Classic, scroll over to Typography, and then go under Volume 4. It's the very first image. So in this image, I want the word believe to pop out from the background. So first, what I'll do is color the background. So open up the color palette, make sure you're in the basic tap to fill mode, and set your button to gradient. Go under the nature palette and click metal. So I'll choose the second one over and then I'll choose the third one over. I'll also choose the dark navy gray color at the very bottom. Now, the first thing I'll do is choose that medium gray color. Make sure it is set at a radial gradient with light in the middle and dark on the outside. And I'm just gonna tap to fill the background. For the rest of the background, I'm just gonna use that other darker gray and the lighter gray to color in all the other little elements besides the believe word. So I'll use that darker gray, still set to that radial gradient, and just tapping to fill. If you want, you could just color in all of the leaves, or you could color in all of the flower petals one color, and then do all the lines a different color. It's really up to you, just as long as it's pretty balanced. After you've finished coloring in the background, let's do the fun part. So let's go in the color palette. Under basic, choose a solid basic black, so make sure it's set to solid. So now we're gonna use the Apple Pencil, so make sure it's set to advanced mode. And we're gonna choose airbrush and choose the opacity, set it down to 20%. We also wanna make sure the size is at 10%. Before we start shading, make sure your area coloring mode is set to off, so that we can shade all around the whole image first. So let's zoom in to our first letter, the B, and you're just gonna lightly start shading, and you don't have to worry anything about it going over the white of the B or any of the letters. And all I'm doing right now is basically outlining the whole letter. And I'm not using too much pressure. Um, our opacity is already so low, so it's helping us out there. And I'm also not going too far beyond the letter into the actual pattern behind it. So I'm just sticking to the outline of the letter. Now with shadows, you're always gonna have a darker shadow the closer you are to an edge. But you don't want it to be too black or else it looks a bit flat. And you're going to continue that same idea on the rest of the word. After you're done shading, let's go ahead and open up the color palette one more time. Under Essential, choose the bubblegum palette. Make sure you're in the basic coloring mode and it has to be under gradient. So I really like this green to peach color and there's a bright green to turquoise gradient. There is a peach to orange gradient and there's another orangish gradient as well. So I'll choose the first gradient which is a green to turquoise and set that from left to right. And I want the left to be green and the right to be blue. And all I do is just tap to fill. And now you can see how the background shaded area has just come alive. It now looks like it's popping off the page. So you want to make sure the colors look like they blend together in consecutive orders. And I'll switch the gradient so that it matches the B so it looks like it's fading into it. So let's go to the effects tab now. And I'll leave the lines black so it looks like the shadows fade into it. And then I'm going to choose watercolor as the effect because it adds a really nice texture to it. If you're looking for that extra added dimension in your art, try adding a shadow. This is a really easy to achieve technique that can be added to any image as a last step. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.